Fundamental problem F2-3 says the rectangular plate is deformed into the shape of a parallelogram shown by the dashed line. Determine the average shear strain at corner A with respect to the X and Y axes. Alright, so as you can see in the diagram here, this is point A, so that is our point of interest for this problem. And of course, as you can see, this original rectangle deforms into this parallelogram shape shown by the dotted lines. And from those dotted lines, we can see that an angle, which we can call alpha, is created with respect to the y-axis. And an angle is also created with respect to the x-axis, where we can call this angle beta. And there is also an angle that's created between alpha and beta, which we can call theta a. And also notice that we can predict a 90 degree angle from the original rectangular shape of the plate. And that I'll go ahead and call theta 1, which represents the original angle of the plate. Whereas theta a will represent the deformed angle of the plate. And now remember that we are trying to determine the shear strain gamma that occurs at corner a. So here we can use the angles we identified in order to have an expression for this shear strain, which we know is basically defined by a change in length or angle. So gamma A will be equal to that original angle minus the deformed angle, where the original angle theta 1 is 90 degrees or pi over 2 radians. And theta A, we do not know what that value is. So of course, we need to find theta A. And so how can we find this theta a? Well, as you can see on the diagram, we can see that theta a has to be dependent on angles alpha and beta. So here we can use alpha and beta to solve for theta a. So starting off with angle alpha, of course here from the diagram, this forms a right triangle with the y-axis where this length up here is two millimeters, which is the deformation, and then 400 millimeters, which is the length between point A and point D. And of course, this is angle alpha. And so as you can see here, we have a right triangle with two known sides. So we can use trigonometry, particularly tangent theta, since we know tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So alpha will be equal to tangent inverse of the opposite side over the adjacent. So here 400 is adjacent and the two millimeters is opposite. So this will be tangent inverse of two over 400, which is roughly 0 0.2865 degrees. And so that is angle alpha. And now we can go ahead and find angle beta which is of course the angle formed with respect to the x-axis. And this creates another similar right triangle, except along the horizontal, where this is four millimeters, and then this is 300 millimeters. And the angle beta, where beta is equal to inverse tangent of, of course, the opposite side over the adjacent, which is four over 300. And that is roughly equal to 0 0.7639 degrees. So that is angle beta. And so now that we found the values of angles alpha and beta, we can now solve for the angle theta A. So looking at this original right triangle at corner A, again, we know that the deformation creates the angle alpha over here and the angle beta down here. And of course, this is the angle theta a. And we want to find an expression for theta a. So looking at this diagram here, we can see that the angle alpha sort of subtracts from the angle 90 degrees here. And the angle beta does the opposite, or it adds to the angle. So therefore, we can say that the angle theta a is equal to 90 degrees minus alpha 
plus beta. So plugging in the values, we'll have 90 degrees minus 0 0.2865 degrees plus 0 0.7639 degrees. So adding these values up, theta A will be equal to roughly 90.477 degrees. And so now that we finally know the angle theta A, we can of course solve for the shear strain at corner A, which is gamma A equals 90 degrees minus theta A, which is 90.477 degrees. And of course, that gives us negative 0 0.477 degrees. And converting this into radians for our final answer, we simply multiply this by pi over 180 degrees, which is roughly equal to negative 0 0.00833 radians. So hence, the shear strain gamma A at corner A is equal to negative 0 0.00833 radians.